Wetland Explorers. It's Grant and Jacob here with the Wetland Exploration. Today we're looking for the largest North American rodent known as the beaver. Beavers can be found in every single county in Minnesota, including Wright County. They're, every year, 20,000 to 30,000 beavers are trapped and killed by trappers in Minnesota. Hey, wilderness explorers. On our journey to find a beaver, it has led us to this tree. This tree was cut down by a beaver. It is approximately six inches in diameter, so that means it took the beaver 15 minutes to cut down. An adult beaver cuts down approximately 300 trees per year. We move over here to find another tree cut down by a beaver. An adult beaver's teeth never stop growing throughout their lifetime, and they're orange because of the iron rich enamel. Hey, Wetland Explorers! Me and Grant are out at this pond, which is one of Minnesota's many wetlands, and still in search of a beaver. What's that behind you, Grant? It appears to be a beaver lodge. Beavers like to make their homes near ponds, lakes, rivers, and streams. Their lodges are made out of sticks, branches, and mud. It doesn't appear that there's a beaver here right now, but if there was, it could be identified by its large paddle tail, rear webbed feet, and distinct orange teeth. Beavers are larger than muskrats, which they are commonly mistaken for, and can reach lengths up to 40 inches and reach 50 pounds. Welcome back, Wilderness Explorers. Now, we will be talking about a beaver's diet and predators. During the springtime, beavers like to eat trees, buds, leaves, bark, and other roots of water plants. And in the wintertime, they eat food that they store underwater. Predators of beavers may include coyotes, black bears, eagles, and a fisher. Hey, Willis Explorers. We're back in another beaver lodge. As you know, it's home to beavers, but what you might not have known is it's also home to muskrats. Beavers and muskrats have a symbiotic relationship. In return for house, muskrat keeps watch and eye for predators. is much more valuable. Hundreds of years ago, trappers and hunters found the beaver pelt very valuable and came to Minnesota in search for it. The beaver pelt can be made into hats and sold for a lot of money, and there was a ton of beavers inhabiting Minnesota. Hey wildlife explorers, today we're at a beautiful stream in Wright County. This stream would be a great spot to find a beaver dam, but unfortunately for us, there was no beavers located here. Beavers are known as ecosystem engineers because of how their dam provides for the environment. Their dam creates opportunities for almost all the wetland animals. For birds, it creates a perfect breeding ground and a place for them to get fast and easy food. For larger carnivorous animals, it creates a spot for smaller animals to group up for easy feeding. And for omnivores, it creates a spot for it creates increased vegetation all over. For amphibians, it creates a perfect spot to hold their eggs so they won't get eaten. And for bird and for fish, it creates deep pools and increases the water quality and oxygen levels. They also dams also help prevent erosion in the environment. Hey wildlife explorers, now we will be talking about how a beaver has perfect adaptations for the wetland environment. Beaver tails act as rudders while they are swimming, balances while they're standing, and store all of their fat for the winter. Beaver's ear and nose valves shut when they're underwater so no water reaches them. Beaver lips close behind their teeth so that it allows them to carry branches while they're underwater. And beavers have a membrane over their eye, like a bird, to act as natural goggles. Hey wildlife explorers, now we are talking about beaver reproduction. Beavers are monogamous, meaning they only have one partner, and they breed around the age of three. The gestation period is three months, and their babies are known as kits. Females usually only have one litter of kits per year.